I don't ever want to be in a situation. Let's make that clear. I don't ever want to be in a situation where my life is threatened to a point where I feel like I need to protect myself and potentially take someone else's life. But in today's world, everything is a possibility. So that is why. Yo, yo, what up, y'all? Tight shirt, Terry Warfield. Today I'm on my ZV1. I got this new Ulan Z wide angle adapter on here. So let me know what it looked like. Sorry if I'm overexposed. I did not bring an ND filter. So let me walk my ass back over here where it's a little a little less bright at um short vlog today i'm actually out here at the park just getting some me time in clearing my head something i want to tell y'all real quick part of what i'm about to do after this video is i'm going to the range and this video will probably be demonetized by youtube but you know what somebody need to talk about it look i get it all of this stuff we collect the cameras you know the drones the computers the tablets the phones all of these material things I get it they're just material things but at the same time like we work very hard for the things that we have and a lot of you all might not realize sometimes you might be out with your fancy camera with your fancy lens on there and you never know who's watching you with bad intentions now some situations are unavoidable yeah but i also feel like there's things that you can do to minimize your risk especially in this crazy world that we live in so I'm about to go to the range and this video is not to try to tell you like yo you need to go to the gun store and get you a gun like i'm not saying that i just happen to live in america where we are plagued by gun violence and you know we got to do what we have to do to protect ourselves here as long as you doing it legally lawfully all that good stuff what i am saying to you is start being more thoughtful about how you move when you got all of this gear and stuff with you because again you make yourself a blinking target when you're walking around. And I get it, you know, not everybody's out to get you. And the situations are probably very, very unlikely for somebody to actually try to run up on you, take your stuff or whatever. But just be mindful. What you do, where you at, always take somebody with you. Um, because you never know when these situations present themselves. Now, I'm also not telling you that, hey, if I got a Sony Alpha 1 and I got a, you know, a G Master on there that you should risk your life if somebody tries to take it from you over a camera no material things can be replaced that's what insurance is for etc however what i am trying to say to you is even if you take these precautions and stuff people out there still have bad intentions and a lot of times or sometimes i should say it's not always just materialistic so what i think everybody needs to do is get you some form of protection protection might be making sure you don't go to bad areas right uh, bad areas is also subjective bad stuff happens in good areas so that's one thing but you know even if it just means going out with somebody else using a buddy system when you out with your gear even if it just means uh pepper spray or some type of you know some type of deterrent whether it's some type of weapon or something like that i think that everybody needs to in today's age especially carrying all this stuff that we be carrying like y'all gotta start taking your safety your awareness and all of that stuff more seriously you got to be more vigilant because you know crime rates are increasing people are becoming more seemingly like about it I, I, they just gonna run up on you in broad daylight so anyways let's go to the range about to get some rounds in like i said youtube probably will demonetize this video and i'm all right with that this ain't really about no money i'm just trying to spread a good message y'all got to start doing what you got to do to protect yourselves at all times let's get it I think it's crazy how, like, you're not allowed to talk about protection on YouTube without videos being demonetized. Like, it's a reality of what we're actually going through in today's world. I think it's a little different if you want to hear acting like you about to, you know, run up on somebody and, like, your intentions are bad. But, like, if I'm literally just going to the range to refine my skill set in case I ever do need to use it, why is that disallowed by YouTube? I mean, I, I get it. They can't put ads on it and stuff like that. But I just think it's crazy how like this is a part of actual life and we're not allowed to talk about it because YouTube doesn't like it. Neither here nor there. Um, the reason I'm going to the range is you never know how you're going to react in a, in a very, very bad situation. And a lot of times when you get in those situations, you lose rationale, you lose upper level thinking um and you rely on training you rely on the things that you've already put yourself through so for example like if you ever 
are at home and you do protect your home with a weapon have you ever played out in your head what the situation might look like what would you do if somebody were to break in your house late at night what are you gonna do i mean it's easy to say yo xyz i'm gonna do xyz but have you actually walked through it before have you actually trained yourself to navigate that type of situation when the stress is at an all-time high so that's the reason why i go to the range but that's not the only way i protect myself i'm i'm super aware probably paranoid but um i'm hyper aware of my surroundings so things like not walking in public on the phone i mean says the guy that was just over there vlogging right but i'm in a pretty safe place where i'm right next to a police station so it's pretty cool but things like being in supermarkets or stores and stuff and y'all face being y'all phone how are you going to see something if a situation were developing if you're in your phone or you got your headphones on listening to music and stuff like that so start being more aware of your surroundings because you only got one life to live and you got to do what you got to do to protect it now i just bought a canic tp9 sc nine millimeter for you guys and gals that are into weapons i don't use weapons to show off i have a you know a, a nice amount of them but i don't use them to show off i'm a collector number one number two um i do train with them also not always at the range sometimes in the house doing dry fire stuff like that just in case i ever have to get into a situation which you know i don't ever want to be in a situation let's make that clear i don't ever want to be in a situation where my life is threatened to a point where i feel like i need to protect myself and potentially take someone else's life but in today's world everything is a possibility so that is why i'm making this video because i see it so many times like people just completely ignorant to what's going on around them and i feel like a lot of times you can save your own life just by being aware of your surroundings and what's going on so anyways like i said let's get to the range right, got everything got my ammo yo shout out to big baby though fresh watch look like a million dollars i can't wait to get the front lift to two inches but anyways let's get in here man it's so bright out here it's annoying but i'm about to put y'all away because they really don't like cameras coming into the range i might be able to sneak a little bit of footage on my phone or on this camera but I'll put it away for now All right, so the ZV-1 died in the range, but I had to get out of there. Look, let me say this real quick. Having weapons comes with a huge degree of responsibility. There's nothing cool about it. There's nothing tough about, oh, I got it on me, nothing like that. Like, there's nothing cool about it. When I was in there, it was three stars next to me. Group of guys, first time ever shooting. Guess what type of weapons they have? AR-15s. Danger. I mean, all weapons are dangerous in the right hands, but... You know, y'all not about to be learning how to use y'all AR-15s. Not with me right here. So I had to leave because I'm all about safety and stuff like that. So they are a classic example, in my opinion, of people who are, you know, getting weapons for the wrong reasons. Going in there, practicing safety, learning the weapon and stuff like that is totally different than just going in there. Oh, high load to stay, high shoot it. Oh, this high shoot it. Boom, 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 boom. Like, it's just not responsible. It's dangerous, and I hate to see people doing that. And it's that type of stuff that really grinds my gears. But anyways, I'm on my iPhone 13 Pro, and surprisingly, it looks pretty decent. But um, I'm about to go get me something to eat. I'm going to talk about why I carry in America as soon as I get back home. I need to eat. Let me teach y'all another thing real quick. People that's on a fitness, weight loss journey, etc. Listen, do not leave the house hungry. That is how you make bad decisions. You go drive down the street, you go smell that burger, <laughs> smell that flame broiled burger. <laughs> you go go in there, you gonna get a whole combo. So I did eat before I left the house, but I'm hungry. So I'm about to try to make a healthy choice 
uh, as healthy as I can at a fast food joint because I'm ready to go home and I'll talk about the rest of the stuff when I get home. Let me go get some food. Y'all will be proud of me. I made a healthy choice. I'm getting a smoothie instead of some fast food. I'm gonna just eat at the house. Y'all never had one of these ultimate acais? What is that berry called, acai? From pulp? Boy, go get you one. All right, I'm back at the house. Real quick, I just want to touch on why I carry, um, and why I have weapons. Some of you might say I'm a bit paranoid. Mm, could be, but we live in a really dangerous country. The, the United States of America, when it comes to gun violence, is just out of control. So. Um, it's almost like we're forced to protect ourselves because there's so many people out here doing criminal stuff and being reckless with firearms. People that don't want no smoke, that don't want no problems. People like me now are forced to take preventative and protective measures against those people. So I hope to never get into any type of situations. I said that early in this video, but it is a reality. Another reality is walking outside and get hit by a car. I understand that. So some of you may not agree with my position and I'm totally okay with that. You know, risk is everywhere. This is just one of those risks. However, I think in this situation with this type of risk, you can mitigate the risk. You could do things to protect yourself. You could do things to help lower the risk where you may not be able to if you're driving a car. You get what I'm trying to say? So. I feel like if there weren't so many stupid people doing so much stupid stuff with guns in America, a lot of us wouldn't feel like we need to protect ourselves. But the reality is, is it's so many illegal guns on the street. Like we're not about to just be sitting ducks as people want us to be when it comes to getting into one of these situations with somebody who doesn't care about the law, who isn't law abiding, who isn't doing any of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's part of it. The second reason is because you only get one life to live. So you know, if this is one of those things I got to do to protect my life from that type of threat, then that's what I'm going to do. Again, I don't think there's anything tough about carrying or owning weapons. Uh, from a collective perspective, I do like them just because I like the craftsmanship, uh, things like that when it comes to firearms. But my message in this video is to be more safe. Start paying attention to your surroundings. Get your face out of your phone when you're out in public and start paying attention to the things that are going on around you because just making those few small changes, if the situation ever prevents itself, is something that you have a better chance at avoiding versus not doing it. So I hope that this was at least some type of helpful to you. And that's it. So till next time, I'm out of here. Peace and chicken grease, Terry Warfield. Peace.